نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اخلي اللهم فكهنا في الدين آمين ثم آمين السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن سورۃ البقرہ ورس 2 37 va in va and in if in is a conjunction tallaq tumu hunna tallaq tumu you all divorced this is a perfect verb for the third person masculine plural you all divorced whom hunna them hunna is a pronoun pointing towards the women or the wives who have been divorced min this is a preposition min qabli from before an that or if tamassu hunna mim seen seen mas means to touch you all touch them min qabli an tamassu hunna from before that you all touch them wa and qad for sure or already farastum you have made obligatory you had specified you had fixed lahunna lam zabar la this is a prefixed preposition lahunna for them farizatan an obligation this is what this is the dower money or the bride's money fanisfu fazabar fa thus or then nisf means the half ma of or what farastum you all made obligatory or you all fixed or specified you need to do this when illa except an that yarfuna ain fa wow af means to forgive to pardon this is an imperfect verb for the third person feminine plural they forgive they pardon au or ya fu wallazi he pardons the one who bi yadihi bazir bi with or in yad means the hand he is a pronoun bi yadihi in his hand or with his hand is what uqdatun nikah the knot of the marriage so if we relate the words together ya'fu allazi bi yadihi uqdatun nikah he pardons the one who in his hand is the contract or the knot of the marriage wa in and if ta'fu you all pardon <coughs> now if you see and you can relate with this how important understanding the grammar is now we we just know the root word an fa wa af af means to forgive yafuna they pardon who pardon those females those women they pardon yafuwa they he pardons 
and tafu you all pardon so understanding when there is ya when there is waw noon when there is waw alif when there is ta at the start with waw alif at the end you can alter the meaning of uh, forgiving according to the grammatical analysis wa in tafu and if you all pardon aqrabu lit taqwa aqrabu qaf ra ba near close aqrabu is closer is nearer to what lamzeli for taqwa for taqwa for piousness for piety for being conscious of allah wala tansaul fadla bainakum wa and la do not tansau noon seen ya means to forget nasyan means forgetting tansau ta at the start means that it is an imperfect verb for the second person and uh, waw alif at the end shows that it is for the masculine plural form tansau wala tansau and do not you all forget alfazla graciousness favoring bainakum between or among yourselves or you innallah indeed allah bima of whatever ta'maluna you all do basirun is ever seeing verse 338 hafizu this is uh, uh, the root word is ha fa zu to to guard to protect to take care to diligently maintain now this is an imperative verb ordering the second person masculine plural and it means you all strictly guard you protect you take care you diligently maintain what ala salawati ala this is a preposition upon as salawati the prayers or salawat and what was salatil wusta and the sala wusta waw sin twa middle this is an adjective as sala is the noun it is a feminine noun and what is the quality of uh, the sala the adjective is al wusta was salatil wusta the middle sala the midmost sala wa and qumu qama is the root word qama means to stand this is an imperative verb ordering the third person masculine plural you all stand lillahi lamzeli is a preposition for allah qanitin qaf noon ta means obedience to obey qanit qanat is the person who is obedient who is humbly uh, obeying the orders of allah qanatin is plural the ones who are humbly obedient verse number 239 fa in khiftum then if you all fear farijalan fa zabr fa then rijalan ra jim lam this is the root word for two words and two meanings one meaning the man and the other meaning the foot rijalan rajal is also for the foot rijalan is the plural form and this is a plural masculine noun then the ones who are walking the ones who are by foot au or rukbanan the ones who are riding ra kaf ba this is the place when you want to rise on a horse or a camel you put the uh, put your foot the rider puts the foot in the rikab to uh, get 
up or to ride the animal. So, Rukbanan, the ones who are riding. Fa'iza, thus or then, Ida, when, Amentum, you are safe. You are all secure. You do what? Fasqurullaha. Then you remember, then you mention Allah. Fazabarfa, then Dal Kafra, Dakara means to remember or to mention. This is an imperative verb which is ordering the third person masculine plural to mention or to remember Allah. And how do you Zakarullah? Kama, Kabzabarka, like, ma, what? Allamakum, Allama. This is a perfect verb for the third person masculine singular, stressing the teaching, stressing that the person imparts knowledge. Allamakum, he taught, he gave knowledge, he imparted awareness. With, when there is shad on the lam, it means that the teaching or the imparting of knowledge was with perfection, with precision, with detailing, and to the minutest of details, with a great amount of effort behind it. Allamakum, he taught you all ma, what, lam, did not, takunu, you all did, talamun, you all know. Verse number 240, walladhina, wa, and al those who yutavafauna. We've already covered this word in the last um, session and the lesson, yutava fauna. This is an imperfect verb and it is in the passive form for the third person masculine plural. They are taken in death. Their souls are completely taken. They are taken in death, minkum, among or from you all. Men is what? It is a preposition. And kum is a pronoun for the second person masculine plural. Wa yadharuna azwajan. And yadharuna dal rawaw. And they leave azwajan spouses. So what do they need to do when they are taken in death and they're leaving behind their wives? They need to do what? To make or to give advice regarding the future. There is what? They need to do what? They need to make a will or a bequest. For whom? For Azwajihim, their spouses, their wives. And what is this will? Mata'an, a benefit, a provision, ilal hawli, until or towards the year. That is for full year, they are supposed to be given, uh, they've given monetary support. Ghaira, without or other than Ikhrajin, expulsion, or driving out, or throwing out. Fa'in, then if. Kharajna, perfect verb for the third person feminine plural on the diecast of fa'alna. The root word is kharajim, to go out, to exit. Kharajna, if these women, they exit, if they go out or if they went out then no blame no sin upon you fee in ma whatever fa'alna what they did who did those women who whose husbands had died and they went out of their homes themselves fee ma fa'alna in whatever they did fee in anfusihim, 
in themselves or in their souls mim ma'rufin of the acceptable or of the recognized manner wallahu and allah is azizun ever almighty haqimun ever wise verse number 231 walil mutallaqati wa and tamzili for mutallaqati mutallaqa is a feminine noun meaning the divorced woman mutallaqa is the plural and for the women who have been divorced mataum bil ma'ruf a benefit a provision bazir bi in or with maruf the acceptable or the recognized manner haqqan a duty alal muttaqin upon those who have taqwa upon those who who have piety who are pious or who are god fearing verse number 232 kadhalika like this yubayyinu Allah ma yanun to make clear to clarify yubayyinu Allah he makes clear lakum lam zawr la for kum you all ayatihi ayat is a feminine plural noun the singular is ayat and the plural is ayat ayat means the verses the signs or the miracles ayatihi his signs his verses or his miracles hazir he here is a pronoun pointing towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and why does he make clear his verses la allakum so that you all taqilun you all understand now i'll be revising again from um starting from verse number 237 wa in and if tallaqtumuhunna you all divorced them min qabli from before antamassuhunna that you all touched them waqad and for sure and already farastum you had made obligatory or you had fixed or you had specified lahunna for them fariz watan an obligation a dawa a bride's money so what do you do fanisfu then half ma of farastum you all made obligatory illa except an yafuna in that they pardon who pardon those women who been divorced they pardon or they forgive au or yafu wallazi the one he pardons yafu he pardons allazi the one who biyadihi with or in his hand uqdatun nika is the knot or is the contract of marriage wa and in if tafu you all pardon aqrabu it is closer it is nearer lit taqwa for taqwa or for piety wala tansa ul fadla and do not you all forget graciousness of favoring bainakum between or among you all in allah indeed allah bima with whatever ta'maluna you all do basirun is ever seeing verse number uh, 238 hafizu 
you all strictly guard you all diligently maintain protect or take care of what allah upon us salawati the prayers all of the prayers was salatil wusta and the prayer of the salah which is the midmost wa qumu and you all stand lillahi qanitin for allah as the ones who are humbly obedient verse number 239 fa in khiftum then if you all feared farijalan then the ones who are walking aw ruqbanan or the ones who are riding fa iza amintum thus or then when you are all safe or you are all secure or you are all in peace you do what fasqurullah then you all remember or mention allah kama like what or just as allamakum he taught you all ma lam taqunu ta'lamun what you all did not you all know verse number 240 walladhina and those who yutawaffauna they are taken in death minkum from or among you all wayadharuna and they leave azwajan spouses or wives wasiyatan then what do they need to do a will a bequest li azwajihim for their wives for their spouses mataan a benefit a provision ilal hawli until one year towards the end of the year ghayra ikhrajin without driving out without expulsion without exit fa in kharajna then if they went out who the women they went out fala junaha alaykum then no sin or blame upon you fi in ma fa'alna what they who the women they did fi in anfusihinna in their souls or in themselves mim ma'rufin of the recognized or the acceptable manner wallahu azizun haqim and allah is ever almighty and ever wise verse 231 walil mutallaqati and for the women who have been divorced mataun a benefit a provision bil ma'rufi in or with the recognized manner haqqad alal muttaqin a duty upon those who are people of consciousness who have piety or who are god fearing verse 232 kadhalika like that like this yubayyinullahu he makes it clear who allah allah makes clear lakum for you ayatihi his verses his signs his miracles and why does he do that la'allakum taqilun so that you all you all understand صدقالله العظيم ربنا لا تزع قلوبنا بعد إذ خديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين سمامين